hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the problems related to the radar range equation till now we have discussed the different forms of radar range equation the first one is r max is equal to ptg sigma 4 pi ae by 4 pi square ptg sigma ae by 4 pi square yes mean whole power 1 by 4 that is the standard notation later on to get the accurate results of the maximum radar range equation we have uh, uh, studied about individual parameters and substituted what are the different values we have obtained in the individual parameters so that the maximum radar range equation is more accurately designed okay so now let us move on to the problems let us consider a small problem calculate the maximum ambiguous range of the radar if the pulse repetition frequency is given as 2 megahertz. So the pulse repetition frequency is given as 2 megahertz. So let us do this one. So solution for this one is given the pulse repetition frequency Fp is equal to 2 megahertz that is equal to 2 into 10 power 6 h so mega is nothing but 2 into 10 power 6 h now we need to calculate what is the maximum unambiguous range what is the maximum unambiguous range what do you mean by unambiguous range so this is the maximum range beyond which the target appears as second time around echo or multiple time around echo suppose if you have taken the waveform like this It is having the pulse repetition frequency from this to here, from here to here. This is the pulse repetition frequency of P. Now, if the echo is appeared here, then we can say this echo is due to this first pulse. If the echo is even appeared here, we can say this echo is also due to this first pulse. If the echo is generated after the transmission of second pulse, then we can call such type of echoes as second time around echoes. Second time around echoes. If the same echoes are generated after third time, fourth time, then we can call them as multiple time around echoes. So, until this particular point, we can say until the start of second pulse, we can say that echo is in the first pulse range and those are unambiguous echoes so we can simply call that unambiguous range is from here to here okay so that unambiguous range is equal to normally we know what is the maximum radar range uh, what is the uh, just uh, range to the target uh, ctr by 2 so now ctp by 2 here maximum period we have given if tr becomes tp then r becomes r unambiguous that is equal to C by 2 Fp. 1 by Fp is nothing but Tp. So, C into C is nothing but velocity of the electromagnetic signal or velocity of light. Both are same. 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. Here, the units are very, very important because sometimes the wavelength is given in uh, meters or sometimes it is given in centimeters so that you have to take care while you are calculating me 2 into fp what is fp 2 into 10 power 6 hedge hedge is nothing but 1 by second you can also write like this okay that's why second second gets cancelled the result is will the result will be in the matters only so that is equal to 3 by 4 into 10 power 2 so 3 by 2 into 2 4 10 by 10 power 8 by 10 power 6 is nothing but 10 power 2 meters this is the maximum unambiguous range so r unambiguous we can simplify it as 0 0.75 into 10 power 2 meters or still we can write it as 75 meters this is the unambiguous range for the given pulse repetition frequency of 2 megahertz okay very simple but this type of problems you can get in only two marks and three marks questions but generally you will be asked to calculate the maximum radar range equation where with the consideration of all the parameters like uh, uh, transmitting power uh, effective area 
sigma and everything now i will explain uh, such type of problem see this this is the maxwell radar range equation calculation with the different parameters included here very 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 important definitely such type of questions uh, you will get in the examination uh, generally you will have a, a b questions in the examination a question is from calculation part nothing but theory part okay derivation of radar range equation and uh, the b part will be definitely a problem so solution for this one first write down get the given data given frequency f is given operating frequency 10 gigahertz operating frequency 10 gigahertz and the antenna with a gain of g is equal to 28 decibels 28 decibels i will tell you what is decibel here see the gain is given in terms of decibels the gain is in terms of decibels in the formula of radar range equation we have a g value that is in terms of normal without any units okay unitless parameters not the decibel value okay i will tell you how to convert this one and what are the other values given transmitter power pt is also given so pt is equal to 2 kilowatts if it is defined to detect a target with a cross section of nothing but sigma target cross section area 12 meter square square meter or 12 meter square the minimum detectable signal p minimum or s minimum both are same p minimum and s minimum is equal to minus 90 dbm decibel meter minus 90 decibel meter so here it is also given in terms of decibels we need to convert back into normal watts so now you are asked to calculate what is the max or radar range equation r max is equal to how much okay so let us consider the formula r max is equal to pt g sigma ae by 4 pi square yes min whole power whole power 1 by 4 okay this is the formula for the maxwell radar range equation now we need to substitute that given values in this equation to get this maxwell value now let us see let us check whether all the values are given or any missing values are there pt is given that is okay g is also given that is okay sigma is given okay ae is not given ae is not given and 4 pi square okay s minimum is also given so as ae is not given what is the formula we need to consider there is a relation between g and ae what is the relation between g and ae relation between g and ae g is equal to 4 pi ae by lambda square see all these relations you should know before going into the calculation part without knowing all these values you cannot calculate these values otherwise you have one more thing you need to do after substitution of this g into this equation you can have all these parameters only in terms of ae or uh, all the parameters in terms of only g that type of formulas are also there i have explained you can calculate you can remember those formulas also if you don't remember if you remember only the basic standard formula then you should know this uh, relation g is equal to 4 pi a by lambda square okay now before going into the calculation part first let us see what are the values given here in decibel values we need to be converted into normal values so the g value in terms of decibels it is given that is equal to 28 that is equal to 10 log base 10 of g which is normal value so how can you write this g is equal to this 10 will go as 28 by 10 nothing but 2.8 and this 10 will be like this okay this is the value 
10 power 2.8 10 power 2.8 so this is approximately equal to 630 approximately equal to 630 so my values may be deviated from your values you can calculate on your own formulas and formulas will not vary values may vary between one or two but uh, formula will not vary okay and coming to this one if you substitute this 630 here is equal to 4 pi ae by lambda square then you can calculate what is ae and one more parameter is also given in terms of decimal matter that is yes minimum so yes minimum in decibel matter it is given as minus 90 that is equal to L log base 10 into S yes minimum which is in terms of watts that is equal to S yes minimum in terms of watts is equal to same minus 90 by 10 nothing but minus 9 so this 10 will be in the power like this 10 power minus 9 watts this is the minimum detectable signal okay and sigma is given what is the value of uh, sorry sigma not sigma uh, frequency is given see for this conversion again so one more conversion is there to calculate the value of ae one more conversion is there that is sigma uh, lambda lambda value we need to find out the lambda value is not given directly frequency is given so lambda has to be converted into frequency so lambda is equal to c by f <coughs> lambda is equal to c by f what is c 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second divided by frequency what is the frequency value given frequency is equal to what is the 10 gigahertz 10 into 10 power 9 1 by second so the second second can say and it will be like a 0 0.03 meters okay so lambda we have obtained in terms of meters 0 0.03 meters now if you substitute this lambda value in the equation uh, like a g is equal to 4 pi ae by lambda square we will get the ae value as 0 0.045 meter square okay now everything is ready now you can substitute in the maximum radar range equation so the maximum radar range equation is equal to pt g sigma ae by 4 pi square yes mean whole power 1 by 4 now if you substitute all the values in this equation you will get the value as 1440 made up 7.7 meters okay i have got this value after the shooting all the values once you calculate yourself and check whether this is correct or not okay values may be different because the calculations because of the calculation mistakes and everything but the formula is correct okay formulas are correct and you have to do the same procedure when you are asked to calculate the maximum radar range equation in the exams also okay if you do the entire calculation part then only you will get a full mark so generally this type of uh, problem may be asked for 8 marks okay 8 to 10 marks thank you